A lot of gamers have been having issues opening up Valorant here recently. They're not able to get in the game whatsoever. Now, of course, uh, beginning of its concept, Valorant's had a lot of has had a lot of bugging issues and just issues and just in all, just with with bugging and everything else. So, but with this video, we're going to show you how to get into Valorant, the game, if you haven't been able to get in on your PC. So, if you haven't restarted your computer yet, restart the computer. And that, that should automatically do any Windows updates. Now, it doesn't matter if you have Windows 10, 11, 7, 8, whatever version of Windows you have, this will work with whatever version of Windows you have. Restart the computer, and then see if you're able to get into Valorant. If not, you might have to manually go in to Windows and do the update manually yourself. If, if for whatever reason, when you start it, it doesn't automatically queue it. And to do that, you just simply go to the bottom left of your home screen and go to the search or you might just type it in just type in update and do any window update that that's left to do and then restart the computer and see if that will fix the problem next I want you to check for uh, the graphics card and to make sure that the resolution is correct on it it's a possible it's a possibility that a new update was done in your windows and you need to downgrade the uh, screen resolution so what you need to do is anywhere on the desktop screen, make sure everything is closed down, is to right click, right click anywhere on the desktop screen. And what you want to do is you want to choose display settings, right there, display settings. And then you, on the very center, you want to click on display resolution right here. And you want to downgrade, downgrade the screen resolution. And recommended is 1024 times 768. Go ahead and try that one. If you want to uh, try another one that's a little bit higher resolution, you could try, but I would recommend this one. Restart your computer and then see if that will fix the issue. Now, it is possibility it, your graphics card in your computer may need to be um, updated. And so, you could, in order to do that, you can go specifically to whatever your graphic card website is. There's NVIDIA, there's AMD, and of course there's Intel. Go to there and see if you can, there should be a place on the website to where you can see if there's any updates for your graphic card. Or there is a website, it's a free website, if you just Google it, it's called, uh, it's called Driver Easy. It'll be the first one that pops up, and you can try using that. That will automatically, if you, you may not even know what graphic card that you have, which is fine, that will actually help you uh, upgrade the uh, the driver now after you've done that what I want you to do is you're going to you're going to run a it's called a, a compatibility mode uh, for for your for your Valorant so in order to do that wherever on the desktop that you have your Valorant icon Look for the Valorant icon on your desktop, and what I want you to do is you want to right-click it. So you're going to right-click Valorant, and then you're going to go all the way down to Properties. You click on Properties, and then that's going to take you to Valorant Properties. Click on Cap uh, Compatibility, and then right go to all the way to the bottom, and you'll see where it says Compatibility Mode see here where it says run this program in com compatibility mode you want to make sure that this is checked and whatever version windows that you have I want you go to go down a version so for example if you have Windows 11 I want you to go down here and check Windows 10 if you got Windows 10 check Windows 8 if you got Windows 8 check right here and do Windows 7 and so on okay and then after you do that you press OK on the very bottom and then you restart the computer and then tell me if you're able to get into Valorant after you do that okay next thing what I want you to do is run Valorant as an administrator and you will always you want to change the settings to where you're always running it as an administrator so what you want to do is go back to your icon right here on the desktop screen you're going to right click it right click it and then you're going to click run as administrator you should see it like there on the top click run as administrator 
And then what you're going to do is after you do that, you want to click on properties on the very bottom after you right click on the logo. You can go back to compatibility, go ahead and click on that. And then on the very run, on the very bottom, you want to click here where it says run this program as administrator and you click OK. So every time you open up Valorant, you're going to uh, run it as administrator. You click OK, you restart, and then tell me if you're able to get on. Okay. Now what you're going to do now, remember if you've ever downloaded another game from, from Riot, which as you know, Riot uh, invented Valorant. So in order to, what you're going to do is you're going to stop running those programs temporarily. So for example, so what you're going to do is, is on the very bottom of your toolbar on your desktop, you're going to close everything down. In the home screen, you go all the way on the very bottom where you see your toolbar next to the time. You're going to right click it, right click it here. And then you're going to go to task, you want to go to task manager, which is right here. You want to left click task manager. And then you want to look at on the very top left, it'll say processes or processes. So you want to go all the way down. We see here Valorant's not responding, right? Look for any other program that's running that has that little red V beside it. So for example, this one here is called Bookstrap Package Game. What you're going to do is click on it, and then you're going to go on the upper part, and you're going to end the process. Close out Task Manager, restart the computer, and then see if that works. But make sure you don't close Valorant. Don't right. Don't click on that one and end process, because then that will that will void what you're trying to do in the first place. Okay, and then tell me if that will fix if that fixes your problem. Okay, last but not least. I want you to check your antivirus. It's possible that your antivirus is recognizing Valorant as a uh, virus. So what you want to do is you're going to your um, to your settings and you're going to go to security. So in order to disable your antivirus, you can just go to the bottom left here in the in the home page and search, and you could you could type just go ahead and type update and security or just type security in the search here and then when you click on that you want to go here and you want to click on update and security and then you want to go to the left where it says Windows security and then you'll click on virus and threat protection and then on the it, you will look for settings it could be right here or it could be on the very bottom left of your screen click on click settings and then if you see real-time protection, you want to turn it off temporary. That way you know if the virus is stopping Valorant from uh, working. And if it uh, does, then you might need to install another antivirus because, or just maybe keep it off only while you're playing the game. Because that may be preventing. I personally use um, AVG antivirus, which I really like. It's free. So after you've tried all that, hopefully that will get Valorant to work. If not, go ahead and uninstall the program. And of course to do that you just go on the very bottom left of your home screen again towards search. Type in programs. It'll pop up all your programs. Go under Valorant, uninstall it, and reinstall it. And tell me then if that works. That would probably be your last last ditch effort in order to get in. If not, you might want to try a different computer if you have access to another computer and see what you can do. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.